Einstein once said that if you can't explain something in a way that a child can understand, then you just don't understand that thing well enough. Now, I disagree with Einstein on a great many things, but I strongly agree with him on that matter. We shouldn't give Einstein all the credit on that one though, because this is a key principle in what is referred to as the Feynman Technique. Some people want to throw rocks at me for reading and critiquing kids' books, but that's what I really look for in these books. Clear, axiomatic understanding that isn't hidden by obfuscation. I learned the word axiom from my cousin Alexander Gleason. It simply means a self-evident truth that requires no proof. To obfuscate is the opposite of that. It means something that is confusing, hard to understand, and unclear, often on purpose. This is just a conversation starter. No one is stopping anyone from reading college-level textbooks and scholarly articles when sharing their thoughts as to what this book has to say. So let's dive into this one, and you tell me what you see, or what you think. Demonstration number four, day and night. Purpose, to demonstrate the cause of the day and night cycle. All you need is a table, a flashlight, a dark shirt, and a mirror. This illustrates things pretty well. You just put the light behind you on a table and reflect the light using the mirror onto the dark side of your shirt. This says, your shirt represents the earth, the mirror, the moon, and the flashlight, the sun. Your turning imitates the rotation of the earth on its axis. As the earth turns toward the east, the light from the sun moves across the rotating earth. Daytime is experienced by the people on the side facing the sun. The reflected light from the moon brightens the side of the earth turned away from the sun. The nighttime is very dark when the moon is not in position to reflect the sun's light onto the earth. Another common saying I like is, seek first to understand, and then to be understood. So I'm gonna zip it as to what I think this week. I'm gonna hear out from the audience what they have to say, and then I'll share my thoughts next week. Do you agree with the book? Why or why not? The floor is yours. I'm listening.